Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the third video I'm filming like this, so I hope you don't get sick of it, but I just have some time today, so I thought I should do some videos since I haven't been uploading as consistently as I would like. So today I have another haul. Um, this time it's the products I bought from the Sephora Summer Sale, and I'm pretty excited about it because I did splurge on some palettes that I've been really wanting and one that was kind of like an impulse buy but you'll see um yeah so let's just get into it um we'll start with like the boring things because usually when there's a Sephora sale I actually buy things that I need <laughs> instead of just like buying anything um and this time I needed um a toothpaste and hand soap so we'll just start with those so the f first thing I got is the Copari coconut oil coconut toothpaste that's the box here so I've been wanting to try this for a while so I figured since it was the sale I might as well get it then so this is actually supposed to whiten teeth and freshen breath uh, fight plaque and freshen breath naturally this fluoride free toothpaste is kind to sensitive teeth and minty coconut fresh AF um, yeah so the toothpaste I'm using now is the it's the glamorous white is the brand crest oh my god I don't even remember and it's like the one I've been using forever um, because I drink like a lot of tea and coffee my teeth do get stained and I find that that one really does help but they are starting to get kind of sensitive um like when I drink like cold or yeah it's usually just when I drink something cold um so I figured maybe I should get something more natural so that's why I got this um I'm gonna try it out if it doesn't like help to whiten at all then I'll probably just go back to my other one because for me I need my toothpaste to be whitening or else my teeth are like really yellow so yeah that's what the bottle looks like I'm hoping it works um, and the other thing the boring thing is uh, hand soap so I got the L'Occitane Lavande hand soap so lavender it, this is the bottle I've already used quite a bit of this and I really like the scent. It says with protected designation of origin lavender essential oil from Haute Provence. So this is like quite pricey for a hand soap but I always like something nice in my bathroom for a hand soap because it's kind of like a decoration too. So yeah I figured since it was uh, the sale that I would get this. It was on my Sephora like loves list forever so and I needed a new hand soap. Um, yeah so those were like the two things that I just needed to replenish on um, and then I got some palettes. So <laughs> where do I begin? Well okay this is the one that I really was like okay that's what I'm buying for the sale it's the Natasha Denona sunrise palette so it's the newest well is it the newest one yeah it's her newest palette this is what it looks like just like a red metallic and that is the inside it's beautiful um, and all these pans are metallic, metallic? No, magnetic. <laughs> all the pans are magnetic, so you could pop them out if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. Um, it has a really big mirror too that you can see here. So um, this is like her newer style of palette where it's a smaller size, like, and each pan is smaller, and that makes it cheaper than her other palettes which are $170 Canadian so I figured um, since I wanted to try her eyeshadows I've actually never tried Natasha Denona eyeshadow I only have um, her one of her face palettes um, do I yeah that's all so 
yeah i was really excited to get this and i bought it right away when it when the sale went on because i figured it would sell out since everyone is like raving about it and this palette was in like everyone's sale recommendation video so yeah i'm really happy that i have this and i think you can do a lot of looks with this palette like you don't have to go like super crazy you can use these shades here for every day and then like some pops of color and I think this is a great palette to transition into fall I just think it's like super I don't know it's like warm and nice <laughs> I really like these like mustardy shades too mixed with the reds I just think it's gonna be really fun so I really want to do a video using this palette um but i'll show you the other ones and you can let me know which one you think i should do first and if you watch my other videos i think i'll have two up before this one i got other palettes <laughs> in those videos so yeah so while i was getting this palette i also saw that the anastasia beverly hills and jackie Ina palette released um they actually didn't even have this out on the floor yet but well they had the the actual eyeshadow palette but they didn't have like the display or a tester or anything but someone saw me like looking at it so she was like oh let me show you the tester and i was like okay <laughs> do i really want to buy another palette because i knew like once they swatched it i was probably going to want it because I love the formula of Anastasia shadows and I saw this online so that's the package here and the shades are amazing that's what it looks like I love these like colorful shades but there's something like dark about them like they're like I guess you would say jewel tones um at least on my skin tone so if you guys don't know who jackie Ina is she's um a youtuber and she obviously made this palette like to work with her and she is a woman of color so these colors are meant for like deeper skin tones but for me it's like what i like to wear anyway so yeah i'm really excited and i swatched like mainly all the shimmer shades like i already know the mattes are good because it's anastasia um but the shimmers are amazing and this is like the color everyone is talking about is this even in focus it's called sponsored so it's like a green duochrome shade that's what it looks like. You can see. So can you see like how it's kind of like orange and then it changes to green? I don't know. I just, I really like that shade. Um, and this shade here is like really interesting. It looks white, but when you swatch it, it's called trust issues it's like gold see oh my hand is stained from swatching liquid lipsticks but like i don't know i really like how that looks so i also think this would be another palette that's good for fall like a transition into fall so I'm gonna do my um, my fall makeup basket soon and this is gonna go in it for sure because I'm really excited to try it and then on the last day of the sale Anastasia released another palette the ABH Norvina collection looks like this I honestly I don't think I would have bought this if it wasn't for the sale because it's um, it's more expensive than 
these palettes obviously because there's more shadows in it and there is a lot of color in it and if you guys can tell I don't wear like a lot of crazy looks sometimes I do like fun looks for YouTube but in real life I don't actually wear that much makeup it's more like a hobby like creative thing I guess but I decided to get this anyway so this is the packaging so it's like a hard plastic packaging and it's called the pro pigment palette volume one so I suppose that there will be other volumes I'll open it up if I can one thing is it's hard to open I don't know if it's just me but yeah so when I first saw this this is what it looks like isn't that crazy this is such a unique like color story I think and it reminds me of Natasha Denona like when I first saw it I was like oh Natasha Denona brought out another palette no it's Anastasia so I don't know it's really fun to see something different from them because this is like the usual palette that they bring out this like that size and layout so I was excited to see something else um oh my god <laughs> and I don't know I think what drew me the most to this palette was um this shade here D3 I just want to put that like all over my eye and I think it was it that one or maybe it's this one E4 um if you guys watch Mel Thompson on YouTube I'll link her channel below I think it was her that like pushed me over the edge to get this because she put one of those all over her eye and it looked amazing um yeah and I don't know I just find it looks so interesting the only shade that kind of scares me that I'm not sure how I would use it is this D4 it's like a true like primary blue with shimmer in it I don't know what I would do with that I have to like look up some um, reference photos to see but yeah I'm really excited about this I don't know usually I don't think I would go for something like this but it just like caught my eye and I'm seeing like a lot of people are like not excited about this and I don't know why because everyone's always complaining that ABH always releases the same kind of thing and like even the Jackie Ina palette they were saying like oh it looks like every other palette just like rearranged so to me it was like cool that they came out with something so different but now everyone's like oh I don't know it's a weird color story and I'm like is it is it that weird I don't know I feel like it's unique and well it, maybe it's just because I don't have like that many colorful palettes that this is like something very different for me I don't know I'm just really excited about it and I already know like I like the the formula so I think I'm really gonna like this and these two like shades here these shimmer shades they look so fun I guess if you had gotten the Riviera palette or the Alyssa Edwards palette then you would look at this and be like do I really need that because there's like those bright pinks and purples but I didn't get those palettes I actually haven't gotten any of the new Anastasia palettes and I don't have the Norvina palette the small one so to me it was worth it to get this Especially on sale but yeah I haven't tried it yet I might um, I want to do maybe like one of those videos where you do like two or three looks in one I don't know I don't know all these palettes just make me excited about makeup again which I think I wasn't for a while and that's why I didn't film like a lot of videos because I just was like 
eh, everything's the same, like, I don't know, I was in like a makeup rut, but now I'm like really excited to play around with makeup again. So, yeah, I got all those palettes. And I think they're all different from one another, which is good. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making excuses because I'm <laughs> spending too much money on makeup. Yeah. But, yeah, like I said before, you can let me know below which palette you're most excited about. Or if you got any of these palettes yourself. Um, if you have any favorite shades. I don't know. Just let me know. And... I think that's it for today. Is that all I got? Oh, I did get another thing during the sale. I mentioned it already in my um, my get ready with me about my trip. The way um, after sun body soother. I also got this during the sale, uh, and I really liked this. So that was a good find too. But yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna buy <laughs> any more palettes. Um, I don't know, I've seen some holiday releases, and I'm not, like, super excited about any palettes anyway, so I think I can safely say I'm not gonna buy any other palettes this year, because this is way too much for someone that doesn't wear eyeshadow, like, weekly, even, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think that was the shortest video I've ever done. But I hope you liked it anyway, and if you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!